everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Top 10 Trends in Institutional Securities Investments 2017, presented by the IT Group Institutional Securities and Investments Analyst Team, led by Research Director Virginia O'Shea. Joining Virginia, we have an expert lineup of senior analysts, including Spencer Minlin, Howard Tai, Daniel Tierney, Pablo Valderbano, and David Weiss. Please welcome all of our presenters, and without further ado, I'll turn the mic over now to Virginie. Thank you again for joining us, and enjoy today's webinar. Thanks, Laurie. As Laurie mentioned, every year the research teams at ITEG Group put together our top 10 predictions for the coming year. So today we're going to present the, the trends put together by our team, and we're going to update you on some of the developments that may have confirmed your predictions thus far, as we're two months into the year now. So this slide um, shows the members of the team, including those that will be presenting today. So we will pass and mention the names so that you know who's going to be speaking when. Last year was quite a roller coaster for the capital markets overall. And this year, now that we're a couple of months in, has proven we're in for another bumpy ride. At the end of this month, for example, the UK government is set to trigger Article 50, which will officially signal the country's exit from the EU. A number of key European Union countries are actually also undergoing elections, key elections in the Netherlands, Germany and France, to name, to name a couple of them. Uh, in the next few months, and we're seeing a major overhaul, potentially, of US regulation. Uh, so that's going to be some uh, interesting developments over the, the macroeconomic and political space that will no doubt result in short-term economic instability, uh, something even different for this year, uh, and regulatory uncertainty, uh, which obviously results in the fact that capital market participants will be facing continued pressure to cut their operating costs uh, beyond the cuts that have already been made and they're going to have to comply with regulations that may eventually be repealed, uh, depending on the results of key elections and uh, the decisions that are going to be made within the political sphere. So with that background said, obviously, uh, I would like to turn over to uh, Danielle Tierney, the senior analyst on my team, to talk about top 10 trends number one. Mm -hmm. 